Hello, hello. Welcome in for another reading today. We're going to be doing a little of... Today we're going to be spilling some tea on your person and the third party. This is for any type of situation. They might be in a real relationship with another person or there might be somebody or maybe you're technically the third party. We're just going to have a looky-loo at what's, what's going on with this person. The song coming up is, you won't go fooling me twice now, baby. Ba -na 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 -na. Ooh, so um, they made this person out to look like a fool. The third party, Navos. It's by Navos, sorry. Also, my Revise Your Money Mindset is currently on sale throughout the weekend for $33, so get it while it's hot. Um, there's a workbook, there's affirmation tapes, there's a hypnotic programming. So check that out. But okay, you won't go fooling me twice. So this person got deceived. There was some kind of deception that happened here. What's going on between your person and the third party? We have rest, give yourself time to recuperate. So I do feel like there might be some kind of separation. I do feel like they're not in communication right now. I think that there was some kind of falling out that happened here. We have nature, notice the harmony around you. And there is this like regrounding period, change, new season of life. Okay, this is interesting. Um, we have energy, intensity, passion, and power. So this is definitely triggering for your person some kind of level up. I feel like they're resting and recuperating. I feel like this person did your person dirty. This person did your person dirty and I feel like, you know when you're in a situation where it's sort of like, um, and for some of you I'm hearing this might not even be a relationship, it might be like somebody in their life, okay? It doesn't have to be that the third party is another person. Um, you know how when like, and it could be very well that this person wronged you, you know when somebody wrongs you and you're like, you glow up, you level up, mainly because you're not with somebody who's toxic anymore. That's what I feel like is happening to this person. It's almost like a blessing in disguise that they got deceived because they were able to see the truth and clarity in regards to a situation. And now they're like, it's kind of giving them this movement and momentum to change their life because they're like i'm never going to put myself in a situation like that again you won't go fooling me twice like nobody's going to fool this person twice let's see i'm hearing that like a lot of stuff from their past they're sort of like wiping clean we have meditate and contemplate so this person is definitely reflecting they're definitely reflecting they're definitely keeping to themselves right now your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn. Um, believe in the impossible. I'm filming this and the Bad Bunny, the Bad Bunny album just came out. And there's a song in there. The, I think it's like, um, I know what you did. What is the name of the song? I just listened to the whole album this morning, so I don't know. But I'm thinking of the one song that it's obvious like, um, He's basically saying to like an ex of his, like, I know what you did, you cheated on me. And um, he's saying like, when I see you, it's gonna be through the rear view mirror. When you see me, it's gonna be on television. So this person's kind of got like some kind of angsty energy towards this thing right now because they're like, they're getting ready to level up. They're getting ready to level up and I feel like Whatever this person's done to them, they are done. They are done. And they're like, you, the next time you see me, it's gonna be on, it was like a cheeky line, man. Um, when I see you, it'll be through the rear view. It'll be in hindsight. And when you see me, it'll be on TV. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's going on between your person and the third party? First house, the body. I think that they're working on like part of their glow up also has to do with their physical form 
Chiron healing. See? Healing. They could be healing their body. South node life's debts. Okay, so karma. I also feel like part of this, something's going to be made public about this. So if you're not aware of it, like somebody might post something on social media. There might be some like subtext to read into, but I feel like if you're kind of in the dark about what's happening, it's gonna be made very, very clear and evident, okay? It's not gonna be hidden for long with this 10th house. That's like very, very public energy. Um, a little of this might be karmic for your person. I think that they knew what they were getting into. So it's like, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, are you really that surprised? Are you really that surprised? I feel like they're more angry with themselves for letting it, allowing it to get to the point that it did. Um, so let's see, what's currently, what is this betrayal that's happened? What is this fooling me? The world card. Ooh, they... There's something that's been made like public. There's like maybe like a public embarrassment or like somebody putting like something vulnerable out for the world to see. The Five of Cups. Um, man, it feels like whatever's happened, it feels like it's like, it, it feels like a little bit of like a public embarrassment. It feels like somebody got exposed here. How did they get exposed? Seven of Wands. Um, and they feel like it kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, we have the Justice card here. We have the Five of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Um, man, it's like somebody made... The way that your person is thinking about it is like they were made to look bad. They were made to look bad, which to me feels a little bit selfish here. Um, my nose is really itching. Something embarrassed them. It felt like it, for them, it felt like it came out of nowhere. I think for the person who dealt the hand, it felt very justified, okay? They feel really justified in what they did. All's fair in love and war, okay? The third party might have some kind of Libra in their chart, I'm hearing. Um, all's fair in love and war, baby. All's fair in love and war. So I do think that this is a little bit of karma for your person, the person that we're dealing with. Because that's what I just keep hearing, all's fair in love and war. What was done to this person? What was done to this person? Knight of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, okay. The Eight of Pentacles, wow, okay. Something maybe with work and the Six of Wands. The Fool card. So there's something here around, like with the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, there's something here around like somebody working really, really hard um, and taking some kind of risk. I feel like... I feel like also this energy, like whatever this relationship was, it kind of just ran its course. It kind of just ran its course. And then you know when you're like, when you, when something runs its course and you're kind of in it until you're just exhausted of it to where it's like, I know that when I go from this, it's like, it's just ran its course and there's no baggage left. That's what I feel like happened but I also feel like it came as a, a shock or surprise to your person where it was like, nobody warned me of anything. Um, but I also feel like they're really not gonna marinate too long on this because I also feel like from your person, they feel like the timing was up, but I just feel the ending of it was a little bit of an F you to your person. So let's see how this person is currently feeling about you. How is this person currently feeling about you? The Five of Swords. The Six of Cups. 
um, something about you they have a new perspective on, but they're still really blocked off by like pride. Their pride is getting a little bit in the way and it could be like a you were right type of thing and they don't want to admit to you that you were right. Um, but know that they are thinking like, gosh, dang it, they were right. They were right, I should, I should have listened. King of Wands. And they also feel like you would feel justified as to what happened to them. You would feel justified and that is something that like they don't want. They don't want to give you, they don't want to give you that. How does your person feel about the third party? How does your person currently feel about the third party? Ace of Crystals. What does your person feel about the third party? Four of Crystals. King of Pentacles. Um, part of them feels like the third party is a little bit of an opportunist and they feel like they have this prize to offer or they they might do well like financially or something and now they're like guarded towards that how do they feel about the third party knight of swords temperance I feel like either this person is like, this person's very financially focused right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you, the third party has to deal with work. But um, for those of you that are dealing with a person, they feel like this person is like an opportunist and they feel like they have a lot to offer. And now it's almost like they'd rather dangle it. This person is definitely, it's like a little tit for tat that's going on here. And I don't think it's healthy. Um, and honestly, my energy, the energy that I pick up on is like, be happy it's not you. Be happy it's not you because this is very tit for tat energy. I think your person is very much like wanting to dangle something in, wanting to like get, get one back on this person. Let's see. How does your person currently feel about you? Prostitute. Um, and the king. So it's interesting because who the third party ended up being is who they accused you of being. Um, and it's not the case like I think that this person at some point might have accused you of being like money hungry materialistic looking for somebody who's just going to support them or um who comes from like a high thing and it actually ended up being what the third party was um person currently feel about you I feel like they're recognizing your worth but they also like there's something that went down between you and this person that they kind of don't want to they don't want to give you that right storyteller the ability to express life through stories and symbols um I do feel like they see you as somebody who has a lot going for you. How do they view the third party? How do they view the third party? The judge, again with the justice energy and the alchemist. Balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. How does this person feel about the third party? Dilettante, superficial. Um, the engineer. They see this person as, um, hmm, see this person as superficial. They see this person as like pretending to be deeper than what they really are. They see this person as very like manipulative. They're very, this person's very manipulative. Um, 
and they're very much like trying to get one over like what did this person do to your person what has this person done to your person the don juan and the martyr addiction to self-pity and the god yeah there's like definitely some ego stuff going on here we have the warrior with the don juan it's like spotlights your positive seductive qualities um i mean they could have entertained other options they could have like straight up cheated on this person what is the the detective i feel like they did like I, i'm just seeing that they either like blew up this person's spot like they could have posted a lot of stuff that made your person look like the bad person of being like this person cheated on me this person did this to me and in reality it's like why would you why would you like say all these things you know um I feel like that's how this person feels. Let's get some tea leaf tarot. What's going on in this situation? What's going on in this situation? Carriage. A journey either physically or mental. Bowl. Plenty of material things. I think in the end this person, this other person decided to go with an option that was more financially set up. Dog protection from a powerful friend. How does your person currently feel about you and what are their next actions? Ooh. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex and bow. You are highly thought of. Um, part of them does want to like tell you though. Part of them does want to share this tea. Because like as much as you would say you're right, I feel like they'd have somebody to like fire up with them. Archway new possible new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up what actions does this person want to take towards you not unsuccessful plans grapes time to go out and have fun i feel like this person needs to focus on their own healing right now what actions is this person taking towards third party harp mm affairs with family flag do not be tempted to lower your standards the hat you will be playing a different role and the tool of great passion i feel like i feel like this has a lot more to do with the fact that whatever dynamic they had like if they were playing nice with this person before it's sw it's switching it's switching here and there's like there's some kind of like like I'm saying war or competition going on in between these two, that's not gonna end, it's not gonna end nicely and it's gonna almost be like really public. It's gonna be really public in some kind of way. So I don't know if there's gonna be like Instagram battles or like Facebook wars, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna get ugly, okay? Let's see, Romance Angels, what's currently going on here? Codependency, honeymoon, joy the bliss of holiday time together. It came in the reverse though. So they could be out of the honeymoon phase now. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. How does this person currently feel about you? Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership um, and getting to know each other. I feel like now they're kind of seeing you from a different perspective, that's for sure um i think they're seeing how they painted you in a negative light and i feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that i feel like you warned this person i feel like you warned this person about this other person and they they're not thrilled that you were right about it let's see what does your person want to say to you right now i miss you okay what is they what do they want to say to you right now? You make me feel like the luckiest person in the world. We try to run from our loves, but but our souls crave this magic. So they might come in trying to like, you know, what are they saying to the third party? I feel you even though we are apart. I left you before you could leave me. It's giving tit for tat. Um, I feel like this person 
I feel like this person might have genuinely had feelings for this person and they got, they got burned. They got burned. I don't think that they're together right now. Um, and I feel like if it hasn't already, things are going to get like ugly and they're going to be public about it. So that is what I'm seeing. I hope this resonated and I will see you in one of my next readings.